na. So, good afternoon to our clinical instructor, Mr. Leo Vergaranto. I am John Thomas from SN12 and I'll be performing the perineal genital care on the male and female but we will do first on the female and then later on the male. Okay? So, may I start na po? Okay. So, first, we should know what is our goal. So, bakit po natin ginagawa? What is the purpose of this assessment? This is to provide the um, genital or perineal genital care itself and to prevent infections. Okay? So, uh, before we start is that um, as usual, we should introduce ourselves to the client, verify the client's identity, and um, explain to the client what we're going to do, why is it necessary, and how the client will cooperate. Okay? So, good afternoon, ma'am. I am John Tomas, a student nurse from the Wesleyan University of the Philippines, and uh, I will be your nurse from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. So, ma'am, for verification, may I know your name? May I also know your birthday? May I also know your age? Okay, so thank you, ma. So, um, uh, uh, may I also ask for your permission if I can hold your hand to check your ID hand? Okay, thank you, ma. So, may I also ask for your permission because I'll be inspecting and palpating specific parts of your body, especially your genitalia. Is it okay po? Okay, I'll be assessing it. And then, uh, we will be providing perineal genital care on your um, genital system or yung private area po natin. Is it okay po with you? Okay? So, don't worry ma'am. This is for safety purposes. And rest assured that everything will be conducted and recorded within this assessment will be fully confidential within me and the attending physician that I'll be referring to. Is the okay with you? Okay. So, before we start the assessment, we will be performing hand hygiene. So, this is the standard uh, hand washing, but I'll just do it on hand hygiene instead. For the World Health Organization, this is also to prevent uh, microorganisms, the spread of microorganisms. Okay. So, I'll just wear gloves. So, after we perform uh, hand hygiene and wear gloves, we will be gathering the equipment. So, we have here the cotton, the, uh, we have here the cotton, we have here the uh, tissue, we have here the towel, we have here the basin, the um, towel, the bedpan, we have also here the soap and a soap dish. We have also here the cotton holder, and then improvised bed pan or urinal pan, improvised uh, rubbing sheet, and so on and so forth. So, before we start, is that we'll have to um, provide the um, client's privacy, okay? So, assuming that I close the door and I close the curtains to provide client's privacy and to avoid any kinds of discomfort. Okay, so after that, we will be unpacking the patient's top lining sheet. Okay, so, I'll 
just do this and then this is to untuck this is to untuck the um, top line and sheet of the patient and then um, so I'll be um, putting on the patient's uh, near the genitalia of the patient's the bed pan or the urinal pan so it's, as you can see it is improvised so this is uh, improvised bed pan or urinal pan okay. I just put it Pumam dito, okay, pumam. Okay. So, um, after that is that we will be positioning the patient into a dorsal recumbent position for feeding. Okay, so you'll just bend po. Whenever we say dorsal recumbent, you'll just bend your knees po. Like that. Okay. Are you in comfortable position, ma'am? Okay. Just like this po. And then, uh, we will be also um, folding the blanket into its um, accurate position or the top line and sheet okay, so first exposing the ties so that we will be able to clean the ties first okay. so mom is it okay to clean your ties Just stroke this box, no? Spot dry. So after that, we will be exposed exposing the female genitalia. Assuming that this is an improvised um, female genitalia, now we will be proceeding on the assessment or the cleaning of the female genitalia. Okay. So we will use a clean cloth and then we will wet it with water and soap. So we will start from the uh, mons pubis going to the anus. Okay? With each and every stroke, stroke is that we will be needing another set of cotton. So for the second one is that um, for the vulva to be um, inner and outer is that we will be using the pattern of figures of seven. So, from the mons pubis, going to the labia minora in a pattern of seven. 
and from the month's pubis, going to the labia minora, going to the anus, and then from the month's pubis, going to the labia majora, going to the anus, and then from the month's pubis, going to the labia majora to the anus. Okay? So, um, after we did that, is that we will be um, disposing the club or the cotton ball. So we'll just proceed again for the um, last part, which is from the um, inner part of the engine wall area. Okay. So after we did that, as that we will be flushing the uh, vaginal genital area. So we will be using a. A um, set of um, we will be just improvising a set of uh, like a cup to flush the um, genital area. Okay, so this is for the female. So assuming that I just flush it a while ago, then I'll be flushing it again, just like this. After we did that, is that we will be pat drying the uh, vagina or vagina itself. And then we will be returning it to its original position. And then um, we will be covering again the top linen sheet. Okay, so just cover this book. Okay, so and then up to back to our comfortable position. Okay, I'll be removing the bed pad. Also, um, what we're going to do is that we will be doing an aftercare, um, uh, aftercare measures or procedures to the um, objects that we have used throughout the assessment. Just like, for example, these are used, um, these are used cotton balls. Now we will be disposing them properly. So. We'll be just putting it here, so uh, it will be disposed properly. Uh, I'll, I'll just put it on a trash, and then uh, for our example also, we will be folding it, folding the towel, and then putting it on the laundry bag. Okay, so also, um, I'll be cleaning this with a, also a cotton, but I'll be sanitizing it and disinfecting it so it can avoid, prevent, or, or to uh, prevent the spread of microorganisms. Okay? So after we did an aftercare, is that we will be um, disposing uh, the gloves as well. So after we dispose the gloves, is that um, we will be doing a hand hiking. Then after we did a hand hygiene, is that um, we'll be evaluating the patient. So, ma'am, are you comfortable throughout the assessment? Yes. Okay. So 
uh, what are you feeling? Okay po ba yung naging, um, uh, naging satisfied po ba kayo throughout the assessment? Okay, wala po ba kayong naramdaman na kahit ano? Okay, thank you po. So, that is the level of comfort of the client based on my evaluation. And then, I'll just document Okay. So, meron po ba tayong naramdaman na swelling or uh, pangate or any discomfort po? Okay, wala po. Okay, so based on my inspection of the client and based on my uh, evaluation of the client, that the client is comfortable, the client has no redness, the client's um, genital area has no swelling, and the client's perineal area or the genital area has no also signs of indications of abnormalities nor um, nor lesions. Okay? So, thank you ma'am for cooperating actively throughout this assessment. So, um, I'll be referring you po sa ating uh, general physician. Okay po? So, if you, if you think for, uh, for some questions, uh, just let me know po or just ask the physician that I'll be referring you po. Okay? Okay? So, my advice to you is to uh, eat healthy foods, uh, maintain a healthy lifestyle, okay po? Okay? So, eat uh, healthy foods or veggie, leafy, greeny vegetables, and uh, drink at least 8 to 12 glasses, and then exercise regularly, okay po? Okay? So, thank you ma'am for cooperating actively for this assessment. So, thank you to our clinical instructor, Mr. Leo Vercaranto. I am Joan Tomas, a student nurse uh, a student nurse from the Wesleyan and your uh, student as well from the BSN 1 2. And I would like to take this opportunity for having uh, you to take. And it is a great privilege for you to have me as your student and to have you as my clinical instructor for the assessment of the perineal genital care. Okay? So thank you, Pooh, sir, and God bless.